Are you struggling to potty train or toilet train your new Doberman puppy or are you just about to get a new Doberman puppy and you want to make sure that you make potty training and toilet training quick and as efficient as possible? Then that is exactly what this video is going to help you with today. Welcome back to the Fenrir Doberman Show. My name's Will, I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly ever want to know about the Doberman Pincher and then how to become a high level canine leader that raises perfect Doberman companions. So if this is your first time here, start that incredible journey by hitting the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so you never miss a future Doberman video. Now let's dive into one of the most common questions I get from usually first time owners and this goes across all breeds and obviously Doberman definitely being one of them especially as I'm kind of known for these large powerful guarding breeds a lot of people reach out to me with help for Dobermans and that is I'm getting this new Doberman puppy and toilet training is not going very well or I'm worried about how to do toilet training properly because there's so many other bits of advice don't worry relax that is exactly what I'm going to help you with today. So we're going to break it down into a first few stages. And one is one of the most common problems that people fall into. And it's one I want to nip in the bud right at the start of this video. Is that if your dog, your new Doberman puppy, has an accident, does a wee in the house, does a number two in the house, do not punish them for doing so. Do not rub their nose in it. Now, I'm a balanced trainer. I believe in a balanced approach and I utilize corrections in a variety of different circumstances. But when it comes to toilet training, it is not the time or the place to utilize a correction-based approach. If the dog has an accident, it was your fault. You didn't get them outside quick enough. You didn't spot the warning signs. And as a good leader, as good leaders do, you need to accept responsibility. I made a mistake there. I'm going to learn from that mistake and make sure that that mistake doesn't happen again. Then we clean it up calmly, quietly, and really thoroughly because we need to remove the scent because if there's any scent left, the dog will then naturally be drawn to going back to that place and doing it again on the same spot. So we're going to make sure we clean it well and we're going to learn from that mistake. Now, toilet training is something that I discuss a lot in my Perfect Puppy course, which is linked down in the description box below if you are interested. But I'll give you a very kind of quick outline and overview view of the approach that I like to take. Now going in to bring in your new puppy home, what I like to do is make sure that you have a designated spot that you want your dog to go outside to do toilet training. And from the second you bring the dog home, we take them to that spot on the hour, every hour, after they've had something to eat or drink, after they've woke up from a nap, and then if they're circling, sniffing around a lot, we take them outside. Now, I know that sounds excessive, but to achieve this result of having a toilet trained dog as quickly and as efficiently as possible, we have to put in this level of effort and dedication. What we are doing is we are setting our puppy up for success. You are setting your Doberman up for success by taking them outside at any potential opportunity that they could need to go to the toilet. When they go to the toilet at the right place, we praise, we reinforce it. Keep some treats by the door every time you go out pick up a handful if they go to the toilet in the right place we stay calm we let them and the second they finished we then praise you don't want to go kind of midway through because you can get them too excited and it can stop them halfway through we let them do it and the second they the split second they finished oh so good boy yes good girl good boy yes give them some praise give them some fuss give them some nice positive reinforcement we're consistent with that approach and it's not uncommon to find that you can have a dog that's toilet trained within a few days within the first week or two then obviously we just need to make sure that we let them out enough because they can't hold their bladder for that long now we start that approach from day one we also ideally start to make a note of when they do a number one and when they do a number two we always feed our dogs ideally at the same sink time every day and we never leave food down for them if we can build this routine toilet training will then go much easier because you'll start to notice patterns and trends of when the dog most commonly goes now if you've noticed that 2 p.m and 3 p.m every day you take them out on the hour on those hours and they never do a number one or two then at slowly we can start to remove those things out and make sure that we insist that they do go before that and after that so we don't have to do this on the hour every hour all the time but we'll utilize this as a method to start to notice and pick up on these trends and to set our dog up for success not to set them up to fail we do that and then slowly as the days and then weeks go on we can remove little bits of 
opportunity to go out. They know when they go out, it's a positive experience. When they go and they do what we're asking them to do, they get praise and they get reinforcement and it'll become a positive experience and something that they seek to do. Dogs don't like to have accidents in their home. Dogs are quite clean, hygienic creatures. We just need to kind of help them along and let them know kind of, cool, this is our house. We don't go in this house. We go outside. This is where I want you to go. And we do that calm and consistently. And I promise you, toilet training really isn't rocket science. Where people have difficulties is that they, they're not setting their dog up for success. They're not disciplined. They're a little bit lazy. Then when accidents happen, they blame the dog and they get frustrated. Flip that on the head. Be disciplined, be routined, set your dog up for success and take extreme ownership of the situation. And I promise you, you will have a toilet trained Doberman in no time whatsoever. Little quick tip is remember that on average, a puppy can hold its bladder for one hour for every month old that it is. So when a new puppy comes home, usually at eight weeks, two months old, they can probably at maximum hold their bladder for two hours. We're gonna go on the hour every hour to ensure that it never trickles over up to that two hour period. So we're always setting our puppy up for success. When they hit three months, they should be able to go for three hours. So at that point, we've also noticed the trends because we've had them for a few weeks and we can start to remove bark blocks and ensure that they're going out every two to three hours, then every three to four. And then it's a couple of times a day when we're going out for our walks and doing our normal day-to-day -day routine with our dog as they grow up and become older again it's not rocket science it just requires discipline consistency and most importantly you to be a calm consistent leader again if you need any help with any of that the links to my online resources are in the description box below hope you found it helpful if you've got any doberman questions whatsoever from doberman training doberman behavior behavior modification psychological development or the kind of history and facts and origins of the doberman i love the doberman i love making videos about the doberman and i love helping you guys guys wherever possible so get involved down in the comment section below if you are new here subscribe turn on the notification bell so we've got two doberman videos every single week and i can't wait to see you on the next episode of the fenrir doberman show